Okay, Peensfield's been in the news recently because of the South Downs National Park, which is a great event for us, and also the ongoing building of the Hindhead Tunnel. Um, there's no doubt that Peensfield's becoming a top tourist attraction. It's got a fabulous cultural scene, a splendid square, great places to eat and drink, and a range of events, the heath, the countryside, and everything else. So with its central position in the New South Downs National Park, Petersfield's a great place to be. As you probably know, we're very involved with helping to promote Petersfield. I'm involved as a member of the National uh, Marketing Steering Group for Hampshire South Downs National Park. And we've also been leading the campaign to try and bring South Downs National Park HQ to Petersfield. We feel strongly that Petersfield should be the capital of the park, and we're talking many bodies in the park, including the authority, to bring them here to Petersfield. So, all in all, there's a lot of interesting initiatives that are helping to put us on the map. Another reason to celebrate life in Petersfield. And now, thankfully, the stage is clear and we can press on to the next award, which just happens to be the Arts and Entertainment Award. And after that fantastic performance, um, let's hear from our sponsor of this award, Gary Boxall from Petersfield Photographic. Gary. <laughs> daunting up here, isn't it? Excuse the script. Um, right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Petersfield Photograph is delighted to be sponsoring this category. In fact, when the list of categories were being read out to me, as soon as arts and entertainment was mentioned, I shouted, I want that one. So, why am I so passionate over this category? Well, although I don't live in Petersfield, I've been working here for 20 years. Throughout those 20 years, Petersville Photographic has been involved both directly and indirectly. I have witnessed throughout these years the sheer dedication and tireless efforts in keeping both the arts and entertainment arena very much alive and accessible to all the community. I will now put forward the following nominations in no particular order, but um, I, shall, I will announce the winner at the end. Petersfield Music Festival. The festival has its roots dating back to the 1900s. It's now an annual event with eight days of concerts and various music and making activities. Hundreds of pupils from junior and senior schools in the area take part in youth concerts that the festival promotes. The performances have been so successful that for the first time last year's ticket sales were sold out which means that over 2,000 people attended these performances. The festival founded the Michael Hurd Memorial Fund, and this fund provides the means to promote development of young performers and composers in our area. On to the next one now, Petersfield Youth Theatre. This company is run by volunteers and was founded in 1990. Children and young people aged from 5 to 25 are educated in music and theatrical arts. There are currently 300 PYT members aged from 8 to 25. The even younger members from 5 to 8 are catered for by the First Steps Workshop with their numbers in excess of 65 and growing. The company organized um, school term workshops for all their members. Easter holidays and summer holidays activities are in place for both members and non-members alike. Over the past 10 years, PYT have gained a reputation for the highly professional productions they produce. It's advisable to book your tickets very early as all the performances are quickly sold out. It goes without saying that the company is served by a dedicated and tireless team of people who always bring out the very best, very best from these young people. And I couldn't leave this platform without mentioning some very special people. Some of them have been involved from the start. Um, you know who you are, Nick, Jane, Jackie, and of course, she keeps on going, is our Lynn. Then we come on to the Comedy Club. The Comedy Club has been running this weekly, there we are, this <laughs> weekly event for over 10 years. This event takes place on Monday nights at the Folly Wine Bar. The Comedy Club has been very well supported by the community and draws people in from surrounding areas. This is down to the quality of each performance 
and the atmosphere it generates. Audiences have been treated to performance by well-known comedians. We, many nominations have mentioned on how well the event is organized and how it is well attended and not to be missed. Many have mentioned the atmosphere and good food to be had at the Folly Wine Bar. <laughs> I can vouch for that. All this would not be possible if it wasn't for the hard work of one devoted guy. Although he is kept very busy with his usual day-to-day -day commitments, he always finds time to organize a great evening. So a special mention must go to Taz, the organizer whose devotion and persistence and dedication has given so many people in the community a good laugh and a great time out. And I'm pleased to announce that the winner is Peaceful New Theatre. Unfortunately, the other 349 members couldn't all fit on the stage. Um, but no, it's great that so many young people are joining the youth theatre. Um, and this season we're doing two shows, um, Pirates of Penzance um, for the younger children and also Crazy For You. Um, they'll both be in September this year. Um, also, we can't forget, obviously, the committee. I think you mentioned, you mentioned them earlier. Um, but yeah, everyone behind the scenes just making it such a great company to be in. Thank you very much. Thank you to Peaceville Photographic and many congratulations to Peaceville Youth Theatre.